Welcome to 1-800-Are-You-Flapping, Double Slapping, No Napping, Scrapping, and if you're keeping score at home, Unflappable. Um, we're playing Zeltapa, as far as opening hand goes, yes, I love it, we're going to keep on this one. You're playing against, um, oh man, I'm Steven, I'm, I'm going to butcher that one, I'm not even going to attempt it. Um, let's go ahead and, Ste and actually I'll explain who Steven is, his role in my channel. Let's go and get the planes down, anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn to our opponent. Actually, here we go, check it out, boom! 1-800-Are-You-Flapping, the official GIF. Um, somebody made this on Twitter, and I, I could not find your Twitter username, uh, so I do apologize. If you come across this video, awesome GIF, I love it. It's what inspired me to make the deck. It looks really cool. Um, let's go ahead and lead off with the... We have Cast Out. We'll go get the Ancient Tomb down and go for the... Either way, we don't have to get the Ancient Tomb down just yet. Uh, let's go and get the Hero's Blade down. It's going to be 1-2, and then we're going to pass turn to our opponent. Uh, we're playing Zeltalpa. Flying, Double Strike, Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible, 4-8 uh, body. Playing against uh, CC, Lord of Weed. And uh, Steven is actually... Get that down. Cast down. It's not going to matter. Yeah. Uh, Steven. Actually, we'll cover the commander and I'll cover who Steven is. Uh, tap. Target opponent discards two cards. Activate this ability only during your turn before blockers are declared. So... Um, Steven is a uh, somebody who watches my videos who's actually a lingu linguistics teacher, I think. Something along that nature. Um, they do something with... Uh, with with speech or linguistics and he's helped me <laughs> start pronounce some of my stuff right so i certainly appreciate that and especially some of the asian names i mean i i butcher them really bad so that's why i called it cc anyway I, I didn't even want to attempt it because i knew it would not uh end up that well for me uh, let's go and get the ancient tomb down now we do have swords to plowshare and cast out i think on this one they both have flash we're just going to go and pass the turn to our opponent um, we'll probably go ahead and hold on to Swords to Plowshare and just use Cast Out. I mean, there's not really anything else that we're doing. And I don't mind um, taking a little bit of extra damage off the Ancient Tomb to kind of take care of the Hypnotic Spectre. Uh, we do want to kind of make sure that we keep that... Um, and actually, excuse me, um, we should have got down the Master Rook of Ingenuity to make a copy of Hero's Blade. That would have been a really good play. So we should have done that last turn. That still would have left us enough mana to go for Cast Out, too. So, sorry about that. Um, deals damage. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and go for it. We're going to go for Cast Out. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to have Flash. Enters the battlefield. Exile target, null impermanent. I'm going to take care of that Hypnotic Spectre. We want to keep our uh, keep the cards in the hand. That's going to be one of the better options for us to go for. And then uh, whatever opponent uh, controls dies, gain 3 life. Discards a card, you may gain 3 life. Okay. So that, that's not too bad. They don't really have a heavy discard outlet. <laughs> Man, we're just <laughs> ripping into removal. Our opponent's just absolutely thrilled. They don't even know it. Uh, let's go and get the uh, masterwork down. We're going to make a copy of the uh, Hero's Blade. That way, once we get it down, um, we can uh, get down to the top of them. We ended up with two Hero's Blades. That'll look pretty cool swinging across the way. All right, and we'll see what our opponent's going to do. Um, if they do want to swing in, we do have Swords of Plowshare and Path to Exile to kind of take care of that commander. Uh, target opponent discards a card at random, then discards a card. Uh, do we want to try and get as much value right now to the Swords of Plowshare or hope that somehow we keep both of them in the hand? Um, yeah, they're going to be able to gain six life to ten. Uh, yeah, they're going to be able to gain six. Yeah, we'll go ahead and try our best. And then discard a card. All right, Spirit Mantle. All right, that, that was actually the best. So we end up with Swords and Path to Exile on both lands. So they're going to gain six life, but that's not the end of the world. We are playing Zeltalpa. Um, so once we get that double strike going, yeah, that's where our goal is to close it out with that commander damage. We can always kind of get that going. Alright, opponent's going to swing in for 3, puts us down to 25, and then at this point right now, we just need to make sure we keep hitting our land drops, which you draw into another planes, I like it. That's going to put us at 6 mana. Uh, once again, we're going to go and pass the turn. So that was pretty lucky on that stupor. Uh, they have to discard a card at random, then we have to discard a card. So they hit the Brave the Elements and then that Spirit Mantle. Um, whenever an opponent discards a card, you may draw a card. Okay, you going to get that down. We're not under any sort of pressure right now. We can take a 3-3 body swinging across at us. Uh, we've got time, which is exactly what we're going to go and do right now. Uh, let's see what we draw into. Draw into Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, let's go and go for that. It's going to be 1-2. Um, yeah, get down the Stoneforge Mystic. Search our library for an equipment card. Yes. Let's see exactly what we're going to search up. Let's go and go for Sword of Feast and Famine. I, I like that. Let's go Sword of Feast and Famine. Um, let's go 1-2-3. Get that down. Um, worst case scenario, we get down Stoneforge Mystic, we can actually put the Sword and Feast and Famine on there. Kind of puts our opponent in a weird spot to where, since we do have Stoneforge on the battlefield, they might have some sort of spot removal. But we can at least get the Sword on Stoneforge Mystic, start start getting some extra value out of that. But it's going to go for Doomblade, it's sure target non-black creature. Um, yeah, that's fine, it's going to get it. So, we do lose our Voltron pieces, and um, they're going to gain 3 life, put them back up to 39. 
but we're in a good spot. Once we get down the Hero's Blade, that's going to be plus six, plus six. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, that player two few cards in hand does two damage to All right. So we're kind of playing against 8-Rack. I like this. 8-Rack Commander. Opponent's going to be swinging for three, puts us down to 17. And with us having double spot removal, we might end up going for Swords or Path just to kind of keep our opponent off of that. And we're going to get that two damage being dealt to us. Puts us down to 15. Draw into Oblation. Okay. Um, how are we going to do on this one? We need to get down Zeltaltha. What we can do is we can Oblation, target non-land permanent. Yeah, let's just go and pass the turn to our opponent. Um, we'll see exactly how we do. We could actually bounce the Hero's Blade, the copy of Hero's Blade, back to the hand. Just to draw in a few extra if we wanted to make the land draw. And in fact, yeah, let's go and do that. Let's go do the Hero's Blade. You know, if we're going to lose just a little bit of damage off that Popper's Cage, that, that's fine. All right, shuffle the back in there. Draw two cards. Let's go and get the planes down. There we go. I like that a lot. Get out Mother Runes. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll be one away from Zeltalpa. And we get the Hero's Blade on there. Now, that does leave us a little bit of open to... Um, well, basically, you know, with Zeltapa being indestructible, um, the only thing that our opponent's going to be able to kind of really go for is going to be double sacrifice, since we do have Mother... No, excuse me, never mind. We get down Mother of Runes. So if they have any more spot removal, um, we can at least uh, get down Zeltapa and have that indestructible get past that. Whenever our opponent discards a card, that player loses two life. Okay. And I guess at this point, we'll go ahead and go for the uh, Swords to Plowshare on Sangro. Yeah, let's go and do that. We are at 13. Um, we're looking. We're going to be taking two anyway, so I don't mind getting down Zeltalpa in this way. All right, two damage puts us down to 11. Draw on two staff. Let's go ahead and go for Zeltalpa. It's going to be excuse me, it's seven. Yeah, five, six. No, excuse me. We're going to be one away from Zeltalpa. Uh, we're we'll just going to get down the staff. For some reason I, I got ahead of myself. I think we were thinking if we made the land drop, we'd be online for that one, two, three, four, and then we can. Um, we can pay two to gain one life to kind of get around that staff card. So, and actually, if our opponent does get their commander down, target opponent discards two cards. Um, you know, we're at the point now where we only have path in the hands. It's not really going to matter. And even at that point, um, if they do get their commander down, we might get in a spot to where we just kind of let them go for that activation and instead of giving them an extra land to start doing some stuff, since it is kind of turning into a war of resources. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, gain one life. We're going to pay two on this one. Put us back to twelve. And keep our fingers crossed that we draw into another land. That'd be absolutely wonderful. Puts us down to 10, draw into planes. Okay, there we go. Let's get the planes down. Let's go for Zell Talpa. This is going to be 1, 2, and then tap out for a bunch. We're going to get that Hero's Blade coming down too, which is going to be good. And the good thing about Zell Talpa is um, it's indestructible. Yes, we're going to use Hero's Blade ability. That's going to make it a 7, 10, anything else. We're going to go and pass the turn to our opponent. Okay, there we go. And uh, our opponent did not uh, cast anything out on the back end. So... You know, something like Vaughn is Hunger, Path, yeah, that's fine, take it. Discard Path. And they're going to be able to draw a card, and they're going to lose, um, they're going to gain two life. So at this point right now, hopefully we can get around our opponent's activations to get around that Liliana's Caress. It is getting really tight, but luckily, um, you know, we do have Loxodon on Warhammer. If we can give it that uh, indestructible, uh, that life link, we might be able to gain a little bit extra life. Uh, whenever attacks and isn't blocked, if any player loses one life for each card, <laughs> okay. All right. Whatever it attacks and isn't blocked, if any player loses one life for each card in his or her graveyard. So we're going to have to block on that one. But luckily, Zeltapa does have Vigilance, so we can at least kind of stop it on that one. And then with the Staff of Domination, we can always tap down a creature uh, going for that Staff activation. So it's going to be two damage. It's going to put us down to four. I'm drawing the planes. Let's go and get the planes down. Um, let's go ahead and equip the Sword of Feast and Famine onto Zeltapa. And then 9 green, 12. Um, we can actually add some extra mana. Is there anything we want to do with this one? We can gain a little bit of extra life. Gain one life. That's going to be 5 mana. That might make a difference. You know, we could tap down a creature. Let's do that. Um, let's pay 2. Gain extra life. And then untap for 1. And we'll go and gain 2 more life. Puts us to 6. Um, let's go and swing in with Sword of Feast and Famine at our opponent. It's going to be 9-12, protection from black and green. Um, that's going to put them at uh, 18 total commander damage. They're going to discard a card, and we untap all lanes that we control. And then let's go ahead and untap the staff. Let's go ahead and gain two life. Untap it again, pay one. Uh oh there we go. We're going to pay two to gain one life. There we go. Puts us back to eight. And we'll do that second sort of Feast and Famine trigger. And we'll go ahead and add that mana to our mana pool. And then untap with that. And we'll use that last floating mana to untap staff. There we go. All right. 
18 total commander damage. We're sitting here. Anything else we're going to do? No, we're going to go on pass the turn. So we're sitting back at 8. Uh, we have no cards in hand, so we actually don't have to work, watch out for the Liliana's Caress. Um, if we want to, we can actually do the 4 total mana and tap down the Guilt Feeder. And in fact, let's just go ahead and do that. That way we don't run into any sort of um, shenanigans with that or something. Who knows? Tap the Guilt Feeder. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. Tap down the Guilt Feeder. And we can still untap it if we need to tap with the Ancient Tomb. We can still pay one mana and gain one life. So there we go. See if our opponent is swinging for 3-3 body. There we go. And that's one of the things about playing against 8 rack or something like this. If you play against 8 rack in modern, uh, just deplete your hand. I mean, you know, playing against 8 rack, it doesn't really help that much. But in this particular case, ooh, there we go. Opponent is going to go for smallpox. Um, can we do anything in response to that? It's going to take care of Zaltalpa. Untap target creature, you gain one life. They're going to lose one life, puts us down to that. We're going to take two next turn. Yeah, let's go ahead and untap the staff. And then let's go ahead and go for the uh, gain one life. Yeah, because it's not really going to matter either way we do that. So we're going to gain another life, put us back to nine. Unfortunately, we're going to miss out on Zeltop. We'll have to sacrifice a creature. Oh, man, there we go. Opponent's going to get it. Get rid of Damnation. And we'll go ahead and sacrifice Zeltapa. We'll just sacrifice one of our lands, which unfortunately is going to set us back on getting um, Zeltapa back down. But um, we'll see if we can. <laughs> we're going to have to find a way to kind of deal with that guilt feeder. Luckily, we still have staff. Or, excuse me, our opponent sacrifices it. So I almost wonder if they should have left up uh, the, uh, the small sacrifice land. We'll go and sacrifice the planes. There we go. And let's see what else we kind of draw into. Now, Zeltapa will cost uh, 10 total mana. We're sitting at 8 mana with that ancient tomb. Um, let's see what we're drawn to. It's going to be two damage. Put this down to six. Drawn to the spike. Um, I guess we maybe ended up kind of gaining a little bit of life off that staff card. Um, and quite a spike does not really help us do much at this point right now. Yeah, let's just go ahead and pass the turn to our opponent. Hopefully, um, we do have a couple other backup Voltron pieces in here, like uh, Armory Automaton, uh, that whenever it enters the battlefield, we get to put all of our equipment onto it. That's another way that we can. Um, it's going to lose two life. Lose out on the quite a spike. That's okay. They're going to be able to draw a card, and they're not going to be actually swinging in for three. They're going to go for the discard instead. It puts us down to four, and then we're looking at two next turn. But we're going to be able to kind of go for, um, has activated abilities of all creature cards in all graveyards. Okay, there we go. I'm going to get that down, and then we're going to go for the staff activation. Uh, we could pay five mana and draw an additional card if we wanted to. I think we might end up doing that. Really want to hit the land drop for the turn. We draw into that. Draw into planes. Okay. That's not bad. Two or fewer cards. It's going to do two damage to us. Puts us down to two. We draw into open the armory. I'm just going to get the planes down. So that's going to put us right at seven, eight, nine. It's going to keep us off so top. Let's make sure we're looking at that right. Yeah, it's going to be ten total mana. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go for the open the armory. Put it in your hand and shuffle your library. Um, if we need to go for some staff activations... I guess technically what we can do is if we're going to worry about Liliana's Caress, either way they're going to be swinging it for 7. We need to get it out of the, the hand to begin with anyway. Yeah, let's go Masterwork in, of Ingenuity. Yeah, I think either way we might be done on this one. We're going to make a copy of Hero's Blade. And then anything else, and I'm going to pass turn to our opponent. So we can gain a little bit of life off the staff. We can gain one life. Um, we can tap it for two and then we have a couple off the ancient tomb but unfortunately if we're going to use the ancient tomb that's really going to cut us off any sort of way to kind of help close it out so i think our opponent's going to have this one target opponent gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn oh yeah they got the mother of runes activation i like that um do we want to tap down tap target creature for four mana yeah i guess we're going to go for that it's going to be one two three four that's going to allow us to at least Oh, well, actually, with the popper's cage out there, we can still go for an activation off staff to gain a little bit extra life. There we go. Okay, so we can do that. Opponent's going to go for the necrotic ooze activation off the uh, Mother of Runes out of the graveyard. Let's see if there's any other creatures. Eternalize on the Dream Stealer. Um, whatever deals combat damage to the player, that player discards that many cards. Okay, and then anything else. We'll kick it back over to our turn. Oh, no! Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh! Man, let's double click the F2 button. I was going to go for the staff activation. Oh. Either way, it was getting really bad. Then we rip into another plane. So we rip into another plane. That puts us on Zeltalpa. Man, I accidentally double clicked the F2 key. 
and that put us. Uh, we would have gained one life. We'd been able to get down Zaltalpa. Um, oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, we'd made the lane drop, get down Zeltalpa. No, excuse me, either way, if we're going to go for Ancient Tomb, we're not going to be able to get down Zeltalpa. They're going to have to swing in next turn, they're going to be able to take it. So, opponent does take it, kind of get to play against eight rack and Commander, don't really get to see that a lot. So, good deck from our opponent. And if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.